Hello everyone, it's Mercury Muffin here. I'm bringing you another episode on the chopping block. On today's chopping block, I got a cooperative board game here entitled Kingdom Death Monster 1.5. It's designed to be played by four players. But I would say minimum you can have three. Because in my opinion, it has Dark Souls toughness during the combat. And a small little bit of D&D storytelling, but in a more dreadful way. But you know what? Enough of these introductions. Let's just get chopping. So, on the box, on the top of this beauty, on the top of this heavy beauty, I should say, it probably weighs close to 17 to 20 pounds. What well, it says on the shipping, anyway. But on the top is a beautiful design. I think, if I re did my research right, I think this is called the Watcher. Oh, let's see if I can show you guys well, glare. Yeah, right there. The Watcher. Beautiful. I have to say, this box is goddamn gorgeous. Beautiful looking. Big. And everything. But, who cares about this right now? You want to see the insides. Ugh. Oh, let's do it. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh, nothing on the inside of the box. Let's see if I can show you guys this. Hopefully it comes out nice. Huh. Huh. And this monster again, and same thing. Slowly put it right here. Don't want to damage anything. What's the first thing? Major assembly. Oh, the good stuff right here. Oh. Before I take everything apart, let's just see everything. We get the miniature assembly, so all the miniatures in there. We have... Some board. Don't know what this is called. Oh, damn, Claire. Oh, folds. Oh, folds. Okay. Oh, there's two sides to it, too. Let's see if I can show you a glare going on. Yeah, right here. Let's see, it says set up settlement or settlement. Survivors return, gain endeavors, update timeline, update death count, check milestone story events and development. And then, oh, can be kind of hard to show you. Oh, what if I got like that? Now it's gonna darken everything. Hard to see, but right here there's four squares with I'll say principal. And then inv invocations or invitations and sediment locations. And then the invoc sorry if I brown stuff wrong, bad English. <laughs> Invocation deck. And then eight prepare departure or de prepare Departing Survivors, Special Showdown, Record and Archive Resources, and End Sentiment Phase. So let me guess the Special Showdown or the boss fights during the game. Okay. Let's flip this over now. And it looks to be a board. Uh, what could this be? Update timeline, death count, story events. I don't know what this actually could be right now. I mean, I guess to set up something. Overwhelming darkness is uh, right there. And then starvation. Remove deep five resources. From the sediment storage. Jesus. That's a uh, pretty wicked. Pretty rude. Ruining stuff. And then, let's see. Let's see how well this. Man, I hate keeping stuff in plastic with glares. It looks like a bunch of tokens. Uh, let's see what some of the tokens say. Toughness. You know what? What the hell am I doing? Let's chop it up. 
Okay. Slowly. Go like that. Perfect cut. Don't want to ruin any of the deliciousness of this. Okay. Uh, see, didn't cut right. I'm a bad chef. Okay. Can I get around this corner? I can. Ta-da. Okay. Got that. And now it should all just slide out. Or tear apart and be a mess. Well, be careful not to pop anything out yet. Ah. Uh, there we go. That's plastic on the floor. Clean it up later. Okay, we'll start with the small thing first. Um, reroll tokens and reminders are up here. I can't tell because I have zebra stripes on. Endeavor tokens and the priority target token. When a monster performs a pick, oh wait, yeah, when a monster performs a pick target action, it picks you. When you are picked as a target, discard this token unless something specific. Uh, uh, unless something specific otherwise, e.g. fuzzy groins. Fuzzy groin, okay. Use this blue marker token to remind yourself by placing it under your survivor. Can that pop out or is there... Oh, I guess this is a... So we have a setup board. I think it's some, yeah, some I already said on that long piece of board. But set up survivors. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, okay. The next set seems to be other stuff. Is it double sided? Oh, it is double sided. Okay. Interesting. I'm not going to pop all these out yet. But let's see. Some of them say. Minus one action, and the flip of the plus one. So it's minus one and plus ones. Minus one accuracy, minus one evasion, luck, speed, strength, toughness, damage. Then you have these. I'm not sure what you can tell. But some crazy looking thing. Maybe death? Maybe. Movement. And then you have these colored lantern looking things. I'm not sure what they could be used for. And blood tokens. Made by bleeding. And the flip of it. Uh. Okay. Entrance and put these on the miniatures. Um, okay. Oh, there's the token. The, uh, target token. Man, I really do like the art in this. So I'm mean, gonna guess these are um, environmental stuff for the board. Okay, and there's the uh, target token. Look at these faces. These faces are so nice. Oh. And these are not double sided. Let's see if I can. Yeah. So let's see. We got. Well, it seems like we have a bug and a lot of stones. Stone faces. Huh. Oh, um, what's this big thing? Monster controller. If a player controls their survive. Wait. Monster controller. If a player targets. Or if a player targets their survivor, they gain plus one insanity. Ooh. Plus one insanity. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. Oh. 
Well, it's time to start shopping. The best chef knife in the world. Uh, let's see. Can I... Okay. There we go. I'm not trying to damage the board. Uh. Okay. Perfect. Now come on. Okay. Didn't need my special chef knife. Throw it out on the floor. Okay. Let's see how this unfolds. Oh, something else here. Guess we'll do this first. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Over here, the top says, if you can't see it, tokens. And the bomb says tra traits and moods in a skull. And then we get to wound stack and basic actions. And then we have HL and HL discard and AI and AI discard. Hmm. I think AI is the boss deck, if I think so. But enough of this. What's. Oh. I do have to say this board does not film does not feel that flimsy, so it's just nice. Oh, let's see if I can get it well clear and hard to do with this. So it seems on one end there's spots for cards. Probably really hard to see, but right here there are spots for cards about seven, maybe? Four, five, six. Oh no, eight. Me do math good. Uh, but the board itself looks very nice. Square board. In the middle of it is four square, four stone faces. On top of maybe a pedestal? That's actually really cool. Pretty long board. Maybe the whole length of this table. Maybe, maybe going over over there. Can't really tell. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can... Oh, I'll damage it. That looks really cool. Yeah, it's actually not that flimsy, which is very nice. Okay, put you right there for now. Oh! Uh, now we're into the best of it all. The meat. Let's see. Oh, the bit of the D&D &D aspect. Uh, hopefully that turns out good. Let's see. We have name. So you can name your survivors. When you name your survivor, gain plus one survival. Okay. Hunt XP. It seems you can go... Oh, so your character can retire. If they aren't killed first. Weapon proficiency, select before hunt. Okay. Survival, dodge and counter search of a. And then it looks like the stats are accuracy, strength, invasion, luck, and speed. Insanity is brain. If you're in, if your insanity is three plus, you are insane. Oh, you have a uh, head, arms, body, waist, and legs that can be damaged during fights. Heavily injured, knocked down, heavily injured, knocked down, knocked down, knocked down. Okay. Huh. Not that much uh, wiggle room to die. And then you have fighting arts. Uh, maxima three, disorders, maxima three, abilities and impairments. Once per lifetime. Oh, so you get some once per lifetime. And courage, understanding. Huh. Okay. 
there seems maybe to be, I'm going to get a rough count, 20-ish, maybe 30-ish, just by a rough count of all this. But hey, that works. What is this? So I got a chop. Where did my chopper go? Right here. Come here, chop. Uh, uh, okay. Survivor Axe. Let me get this off so I can show you guys. Well, too much of a glare. Uh, gotta be careful. Uh. There we go. Go, go, go it. So far, I'm in, enjoying this. I like the art style. Okay. Let's see. There seem to be four, so for the four players. Okay. So show that off to you guys. Okay. So let's see. Survivor acts. At the start of your act, gain... Plus one movement and plus one activation. During your act, you may do the following in any order. Spend a uh, movement once, uh, move once the number of squares up to your current movement uh, attribute. And spend the act uh, activation stuff to attack, activate gear, train, or special rules. At the end of your act, lose unspent action and uh, movement. Survival actions. You may spend survival survival to perform the following survival actions. Dodge. Avoid the damage from the hit. Dash. Gain plus one movement and use it immediately. Surge. Gain one activation and use it immediately. Uh, encourage. Call out to a fellow survivor if they stand... If they stand... Oh, the, oh sorry, sorry. Call out to a fellow survivor... They stand if they are knocked down. Okay. Unarmed combat. If a survivor may always fight with their fist and tooth. Their, the profile is below. Uh, fist and tooth. Melee weapon fist and tooth. Okay. Deadly. Plus one luck when you are when you attack with this weapon. Oh, plus one luck. That's not bad, I guess. Uh... Put the chef knife away for a moment. So I'm gonna guess these squares are for equipment that you get in the game. I'm not really sure how these play out yet. I gotta read the rule book. But yeah, you get uh, four of them. Um, yeah, they're not bad. They're not as thick as the uh, play mat. Oh, I'm just noticing numbers on the playmat now. Huh. Okay. 22 right here. So 22 by something. Okay. 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 Not bad. Uh, what is this? Oh, your settlement. The story part of the game. Hopefully you guys can read this. It's not too bad. I'll skim over this a bit. Uh, survival limit... Settlement name. When a settlement is named for the first time, returning survivors gain plus one survival. There's death count. Um. Oh, it gives you a timeline what to do. It's up to 36 years. Let's see. I'll just name like the first five. So for... So it seems like events, first day, returning survivors. Then year two is an event. And endless screams. Year three is just an event. Whatever that could be. Year four is an event. And then a nemesis encounter. Butcher level one. And then year five is an event. And hands of heat. It just keeps going. 
Let's see, Milestone Achievements. Trigger these story events when the milestone condition is met. First child was born. First time death count is uh, updated. Uh, population reached 15. Sediment has 15 innovations. And population reaches zero. Uh, innovation. The sediment inv inv ah, includes weapon masteries. So it seems like the first one you always get is going to be language. And probably others during the game. Principles. The sediment and seven principles. New life. Death. So, uh, society and conviction. Protect the young or survival of the fittest. Cannibalize or graves. Collective toll or accept darkness. Barbaric or romantic. <whistles> Let's see. Sediment locations. Locations in your sediment. Lantern Horde. Bonesmith Skinnery Organ Grinder. A uh, weapon crafter, leather worker, stone circle, barber, yeah, barber, surgeon, plumbery, blacksmith, and mask maker. <clears throat> uh, quarries. These monsters your summon can select to hunt. White lion, screaming antelope, and phoenix. But white lion is marked black for some reason. Same with Lion Horde and other stuff. But it seems like you can play multiple games. I've seen probably... Oh, there's stuff on the back? There's stuff on the back. Hold on, people. Uh, resource, uh, resource storage. Gear storage. So there's two. Not sure how well it can come out. Nemesis monsters. These nemesis available are available for counters. So the Butcher, like I mentioned earlier... Level 1, 2, and 3. The King's Man and the Hand. Both 1, 2, and 3. Population. Update the population number as survivors are added and lost. Oh, you can name them in genders and notes. Cool. Lost settlements. Notes and everything. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems probably... I would say 20. 20 games you can play, maybe. Okay, what's next? Uh, the rule book, probably. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. That's in there. If I go from the side, I solve it. Oh, wow. Heavy fucking book. It's actually a book. Well, let's go chopping. Oh, come on. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. I really like this. It's actually a nice book. Ugh. Uh, oh, it even has little things. Oh, shit. It's fancy. But uh, hopefully no glare. Yep, the Watcher again. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Uh, first page. I'm not going to show you all the pages. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, not bad. Contents. 220 pages. Uh, okay. Introduction, how to play. Monster? So, Kingdom Death Monster. It's a game about surviving in the darkness. You lose if your settlement population reaches zero. You win if your settlement defeats the Gold Smoke Knight. Ooh. Okay. Monster is played by one to four players. But probably you want three or four for how tough everything is. Players will hunt and fight monsters... Using what they scavenge to, gr to grow a settlement. A small settlement. Each player technically plays one as... Ah, sorry. Each player typically plays as one survivor. And the player takes turns controlling the monsters. 
That's cool. The game is cooperative. Players are encouraged to make long-term and split-second decisions as a group, pooling their efforts to protect their future. Monster is designed to be played as a campaign. Groups of players will return to the same settlement and even the same survivors over the course of several play sessions. Simply pick up where you left off the last time you played. You can play with the same group of people each time or swap in new friends. Monster is a miniature hobby game. An important component of this game is assembly, customizing, and painting your miniatures. To begin playing, you only need to assemble the four starting survivors and the first monster, a white lion. A 5-6 to six player variant appears later in this book. We do not recommend starting there. Okay. Okay. Hey, there you go. Ooh. Let's see if I can show that off with a glare. Oh, hopefully you guys can see it nicely. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a place of carved stone faces. A man with a lantern lay sleeping a dreamless sleep. The man knew nothing. Oh, I think my story time. I'm no LeVar Burn, but you know. <clears throat> One day the man woke up. He rubbed the dry ink caked over his eyes and opened them. Around him he saw other people stirring and beyond a horizon an unbroke darkness. A woman approached the man with the lantern. Her soft hand reached out to him. They had no words. They were a mystery to each other. Ooh. Suddenly, a monster emerged from the darkness, its eyes wild with hunger. It attacked. The people were no match for the monster. It tore their flesh and crushed their bones. Between its teeth, some it devoured whole. Overcome with terror and grief, the man with the lantern collapsed to the ground. Stone or cold stones or sorry. Cold stone noses pressed into his side. There were no escape. But the man did not want to die, desperately grasping at the cold stone faces. He felt a crack and tore it with all his might. A piece of the stone came free. It was sharp and deadly. Oh. He looked angry. <laughs> the man with the lantern scrambled to his feet. His weapon clenched to his, or to his feet, his weapon clenched in his fist. He took a deep breath and roared into the darkness. Somewhere in this place of stone faces, a nameless man and woman stood together, or nameless men and women stand together. They have nothing but a need to survive and a lantern to light their struggles. Struggles. And that's the first one. I'll just show you this last thing and maybe a couple of I skim through it. But that's a cute little thing about assembly the miniatures. Okay. Let me see if I can find some nice artwork. Maybe some spoilers. A little comic thing in the back. Cool.
Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just looking at all of this. Um... I'll talk about all of that. Oh, I'm about to have have some armor. Man, I don't know how I feel about this book because it feels kind of. I don't, it just feels like they're gonna fall out a bit. It may just be me. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks cool. Yeah, it really feels like it's not like in there. Okay, but enough of this. The book's really cool. Got little dangly things. Put you right there. Oh, fuck. Um, got some dice. Let's see, we got five black D10s. A reddish, maybe? Greenish, yellowish, some color dice. Ugh. Put you right there for now. Oh, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to tell. But this D, uh, six sided comes with stuff. Probably hard to tell. Got a hand, armor. Probably get a bigger one. I'll, part, I'll just take pictures of the big one and show them on the screen. Same with the D10s. It seemed like in the 10 spot, there's a picture of a lantern. Yeah, for all the D10s. Okay. So it seems like the D6s, which are actually pretty nice. I like them. Can't use them for anything else, sadly. But there are caves are carved into the dice. Not just on the outside, so that's pretty nice. Um, What's this? Start grabbing stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay, that cuts some. There we go. I do have to show you the inside. Oh, yeah, you can see the inside. It looks pretty nice. Okay, so what we have... Oh, I guess these are to separate stuff. The Watcher. Uh, yeah, they got a little thing. The Watcher. Goldsmith Knight. The Hand. King's Man. The Butcher. White Lion. The Screaming Antelope. Phoenix. And then the rest of these are just words. Um, uh, disorders, Fighting Style, Secret Fighting Arts, Basic Resources, Terrain, Vermin, Strange Resources, Basic Hunt Events, Armor Sets, Invocations, Universal cards and weapon proficiencies. Okay, that's actually pretty cool to get the monsters get cards separating them, get like nice art styles to separate them. Sorry, I just want to make sure they're all nice and back. Um, oh, let's see. Settlement event, it looks like it's coming up next. There we go. Ugh. Keep that bag, put dice in over there, throw this there, there. Ugh. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'll just show you the first one so I don't do any spoilers. Uh, the first day settlement event will help set up your settlement. It's the first event of any campaign. 
The, the survivors wander drawn to the blooming light in the distance. They find the serrated comfort of a towering pillar of lanterns and a small collection of scared people. On a deep instru instructional level, they know the area is safe and they make it their home. Roll a d10 to determine your starting population and record the result on the back of the settlement record sheet. Choose and record gender. Choose and record genders for the unnamed survivors. You may name an unnamed survivor and create their survivor record sheet at any time during the settlement phase. One to three is six unnamed survivors plus returning survivors. Four to eight, eight unnamed survivors plus returning survivors. And seven or greater, ten survivors, ten unnamed survivors plus returning survivors. Return the settlement selection, or sorry, return to the settlement selection of the first story and proceed to returning survivors. The first day, this, uh, the first day settlement event card will not be used again during this campaign. During this campaign. Do not include it in your settlement event deck. Okay, I just kind of want to... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kind of different than what I thought. Yeah, hopefully you can see. I'm not sure how well, but it actually says sentiment deck and has a nice little S right there. Okay, okay. Not bad. Where would this actually go? I guess right there for now. I actually don't know where you would go normally. But whatever, on to it. Uh, this has nothing on the back. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, finally. Let me just see. Okay. Oh, these are what I mentioned earlier. I guess locations you can find or make. I guess I'll just show you the first one without spoiling too much. It's the Barber Surgeon. Um, okay, so it seems like the materials you get, you can make stuff. First aid kit. Brain mint, elder er, outer earrings, musk bomb, pottery required for that. Scavenger kit, bug trap, speed powder, alamac, and pitcher graph required for that. Tap painting, tree painting, roll d10, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he is a surgeon, so. Okay, so it looks like, okay, so it looks like if you're able to build any of this stuff, you can, after you, I guess you build a location, you can get items to help make the look or help build other stuff in the location. Okay. Mask maker. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's this smaller versions for these cards. Okay. Let's see. Skinnery, Stone Circle, 
and this stuff. Um, don't want to open them all just for how small everything is, but I can open this one, show you a couple, and move on to the slightly larger ones. Show you a couple of that. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Starting gear. Okay. Yeah, I can show you the starting gear. That should be fine. Rare gear. Okay, let's see the starting gear. Cloth, cloth. Oh, okay, so yeah, everyone gets that. Okay. Let's see, I may have to take a picture of these two. See how it turns up there. Let's see, cloth, armor. This cloth protects your waist. Gain one armor point at the waist hit location. Okay. And then Founding Stone. May have to take a picture of this. Uh, Founding Stone, melee stone weapon. Uh, spend activation to sling the stone from anywhere on the board. Archive this card for one automatic hit that inflicts a critical rune. Oh, wow. Archive, return the card to the game box. Oh, wow. That's not bad getting a critical rune, but you lose the weapon. That's a one-off. I still don't know. I should look it up to see what this... It's something to do with attacks and probably rolling the dice. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Let me look at the rare gear. Uh... Ch -ch 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 -ch. The star burger. No. You guys go back there. You go back there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll show these two off. Just because I mentioned the butcher. Seems like the Butcher has two weapons. Oh, it's a pair too, which is, so I guess you need both. Let's see, Sentinel, you must be insane to activate. An irreplaceable, when you die, archi archive this card. Okay, so you can't get back. So I guess you have to have both of them. Again, if not, then I'll take pictures later. Put them in the video. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And let's see, two, then fives. Whatever the hell that means. Don't want to spoil everything in the thing, so I guess that makes sense. So, see these cars? Weapon Crafter. Bunch of new Weapon craft. Plumbery? Probably pronounce it wrong. Blah. Okay. Okay. And then we have four stacks of cards. Special hunt events. AI. Yeah, AI is the boss decks. They actually have, probably can't tell with the glare. They actually have the bad guy, or who you're fighting symbol on them. So you can tell the difference. But your roar. Um, yeah, I'll open this one. Hopefully I can open this one so I can put them back in. Or if I'm going to have to actually separate those, separate all this now. Okay. What are you? 
Oh, you're... Okay. Did they actually have an aura to him? Basic resources. Fighting styles. Oh. Oh, what's this? Okay, these just say Kingdom Death on it. What the hell does that mean? Second, people, second. Okay. Where, let's see. Okay. Well, just the King of Death thing. Um, two traits in here, life and, uh, okay, and then it seemed like, kind of odd that they gave four of each, I'm curious what these could be used for. But, uh, I'll push separate photos of these up. It seems like one, two, three, four of the survivors. Huh. Okay. And then that, those two can go there. Special hunts, random encounters. Okay, this is simple one. Special hunts, and then the random event is this roll a d, roll a d twenty, or sorry, roll a d hundred, blah, on the hunt event table. It seems like you would have to use the white and black, and white would be the tens. Okay. How about some fighting style? Something interesting. Got extra sense. You may dodge one additional time per round. Record and archive. So you, no one else can ever get it. I actually like the art on that. Hopefully it comes out nice. And then... Fine cells. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see a uh, AI card. Uh, why don't I show the final boss? Yeah, Watcher should be good. Let's see what the Watcher got in hand. And toe. Let's see. Yeah, I already showed you that. Stolen Dreams. Ugh. Stolen Dreams. You cannot gain Stolen Dreams if you have plus nine courage and understanding. When you gain this, you are knocked down, and you remain knocked down as long as you have this card. At the end of your act, if there are two or more of any combination of survivors, or retune, or retinue, retinue, adjust it to you, archive this card and stand. Wow. And then you have audience, one mark. That's all. Uh, terrified survivors spectate the battle in silence. If there are less than four non-return uh, survivors on the showdown board, 
A survival from the settlement may depart and enter the showdown. Place them in an unoccupied space along any board edge. Okay. Okay, that doesn't sound bad. Sounds scary. Because that probably usually means that you're dead. Oh, wow. Now, I'm going to move all this so I can show you inside. Because this is very smart and I love it. Ugh. Put you over there for now. Fun fact, they had little, uh... I forget, little things. Anything else? Yeah, two more. Love these. But I love that the box can hold everything I just shown you. That's so smart and so good. Love it, love it, love it. All the tokens. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the big card at. Big card at. Because I know they'll probably stand right here, but probably get squished by the box and... Everything else I put into it. Sorry for that jump cut. The battery died. I had to go replace it. But here's the thing. You come to see the manager. I'm not going to assemble these yet. Well, on this video. But here's the box for it. It has build.kingdomdeath.com. So. Oh. go let's see what's in here <gasps> miniatures ah we have the big box a bit oh. there we go that should be good miniatures way oh. okay Oh man. Got this first. Seems to be bases. 30 mil millimeter. See what the big ones are? 100 millimeter. What are these middle bases? Uh, oh, come on. 50. So you got 30, 50, and 100. Come to the nice Ziploc bag. I'll take one out to show ya. Ugh. I love poots. Okay. The back. But I love poots. Whatever the hell that is. The 50 mil base. Yeah, sure that in a second. Oh. No base. Okay. I just need a 30 mil base. The 30 mil base. And it came well, I guess could fit in here. Right? No off the edges of this. Yeah, it could probably fit there, probably fit one or two, but it seems like maybe hard. So you gotta take a bit of this, probably stone faces, probably for the characters set on. Nice ripple effect to it. Or is it just for the small bases, or is there any for fifty? I don't see anything for fifty here. But okay, got a couple big bases. Some medium bases. Ziploc bag. Yeah, I actually seem like all these are in Ziploc bags, which is pretty nice. Um, let's just go down the line. What we have here. Uh, let's take one out, see if they're all the same or they well, I guess they're all gonna come out. Never mind. Uh, 
No, they're all different. Huh. This is one of the armor sets where they're all different. Yeah, they're all different. Okay. Yeah, you can really customize your character. Huh. Upper show the uh what they're supposed to look like. I think what armor says this? Uh does they? Lantern kick? Lantern this is Screaming Fur. Let's see down here. Okay, made in China. So you got the lantern kit kit. The screaming fur kit. Lion kit. And the Phoenix kit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, not bad. Make sure these still are lined up. Oh, they got little notches to put them in. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'll be showing fellows uh, from their website of what they look like when they're all finished. Sorry, just want to make sure these are all nice in there. You know what? Just gonna put that over there for now. Uh, what's next? What's next? This. What is this? This looks like the Phoenix. Phoenix. Probably half, half the Phoenix. Because the other half's there. I really like the detail in these, especially the, uh, hopefully you guys can see it. And the feathers, they look super well detailed. Yeah, each feather looks separate. Little grooves in it and everything. Looks super nice. So, let's see. Okay, I got that one, and I see the other piece of the raven, or phoenix, with hands, mouth, and a tongue. Yeah, super well nice detail. Love it. Um, what's these small parts here? What are these? Are these more parts of the Phoenix or? Oh no, Phoenix kit. So I guess. Yeah, okay, so Phoenix kit for, so what you can wear if you kill the Phoenix. Okay. What is this? Is this more of the Phoenix? Yeah, Jesus. Again, I love the fucking feathers. They look so nice. So does he just have a bunch of little hands on him? I gotta look at the, what the Phoenix looks like. More detailed. Uh, what we have here? More kits, it looks like. 
more lion kit. Looks like head headwear and part hands and screaming fur kit. Some more headwear and part of the little details to add to it. Oh wow. Well, there's at least one head there, two head, male and female. Oh, wow. Oh, what's this? This is the King's Man. Is that all the King's Man and all the King's Horses? So, sword would go there. Show you what the king's man looks like. King's hand. Or man. Don't judge. Pretty nice looking. Probably one of the easier things to do. Since all one thing that Spend the five fucking bags. Three bags. Uh what do we have here? This looks like Watcher. The Watcher. Are you the Watcher too? No, yeah, I see masks on these. Core game masks. And then Lantern kick. But what a... Uh, hopefully these go back in. Let's look at the uh, watcher. So we can. Hmm. Yeah, I really like this. Hopefully it's fun and easy to put together with all the glue. Don't glue my hands together. Okay, and what we have, I think I said Lantern Kit and the Core Game Masks. Hmm. See how well you guys can see the masks. They're very nice. Again, well detailed. Even on this small piece, the feather looks nice. Feathers look nice. Huh. Okay. Like that. Oh, it's coming next. Oh. Gold Smoke Knight. Survivor number seven? Survivor number eight. Okay, so gold. Let's just take this on this look. Gold Smoke Knight pieces. I'll show the finish thing from their website. And then Survivor 8 and 7. So 7's a female and 8 is an older male, it looks like. I kind of like the way 8 looks with the beard and everything. Fucking jealous of the beard. Oh, 
Oh. What are all these? The unarmored kit. Rawhide kit is behind that. Okay. Again, I'll show the photos. So nice. And what we have here. Leather kit. Okay. Oh. The prologue. We have the prologue. <sighs> Gotta look at this stuff. Prologue. It looks like we have the screaming lion. No. We have the white lion. We have... The Butcher, Corset, Prologue, okay. So yeah, we have the Butcher, Iams, the White Lion, and three of the starring survivors. Yeah, it looks like we have the Butcher, three of the starring survivors. I guess the other one's there. And the white lion. Oh, I like that. Then the survivors and the butcher. Now on this one we have the hand. Okay, the hands here. Screaming antelope. And the survivor. And the last starring survivor, I should say. Okay, so the hand, which I'm going to guess is you. Screaming antelope. Okay. We have the screaming antelope, and I think this is the hand, that body. And then the last survivor. Hmm. And that's all the minis. Huh. Interesting. Very. Yeah, these minis, again, look so nice. I'm scared of painting them to mess them up. Never painted before. Might ask one of my friends to do this. When the time comes to actually play all this. Oh, but yes, this looks so nice. Oh, go like that. Put you back in the bag. Now the true test comes to putting this all back. But you don't care about that, do ya? Thank you everyone for watching another episode of On the Chopping Block. If you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and share. It would mean the world to us. If you want to see past on the chopping blocks or future ones, please click here and here. Or here. However YouTube wants to work these days. But I hope you have a goddamn beautiful day.